The Captain Project is an evaluation of anti-LGBTQ plus pseudoscience. The purpose of Captain is to draw a through line, connecting the pseudoscience that's been used to justify the marginalization of people with contemporary anti-LGBTQ plus pseudoscience. We do that by focusing on uh, LGBTQ plus healthcare and identifying the common narratives used in anti-LGBTQ plus pseudoscientific studies. We also identify the groups and actors involved in spreading, disseminating, and generating that anti-LGBTQ plus pseudoscience. We also provide history and context for understanding what the anti-LGBTQ plus pseudoscience means and its connection to the seeming proliferation of anti-LGBTQ plus legislation in recent years. Chapter one explains that the controversy over trans healthcare is manufactured to reinforce both white supremacy and the political goals of the Christian right. Researchers seem to agree that trans people have felt more comfortable coming out in recent years, but far right and anti-trans researchers have taken control of that narrative, like rapid onset gender dysphoria and the idea of identity as a social contagion. The far right translated old and new pseudoscience about LGBTQ plus identity into gender ideology as a talking point to claim that any positive representation of LGBTQ plus people was a method of creating new trans kids. In chapter three of the Captain Report, we talk about the right-wing strategy to use anti-trans disinformation to split the LGBTQ plus community and its allies. Medical professionals and self-identified LGBTQ plus whistleblowers Many with ties to the far right help perpetuate the conspiracy of a vast medical industry recruiting and experimenting on kids, often for personal gain. At the same time, parents' rights and religious freedom groups assert their rights to reject trans kids, as well as all non-discrimination laws, as part of their freedom to practice ultra-conservative religious beliefs. In chapter four of the Captain Report, we talk about how anti-LGBTQ plus medical disinformation is generated to influence public policy. The overarching strategy of the anti-LGBTQ plus pseudoscientific network is to advance a position against gender affirming care by manufacturing doubt. Rather than spreading outright falsehoods, they misrepresent existing scientific evidence, omit key context, and selectively apply critical standards to argue that youth seeking gender affirming care are actually harmed by it rather than benefit from it. In chapter five of the Captain Report, we talk about group dynamics and division of labor inside the anti-LGBTQ plus pseudoscientific network. We identified 60 groups four joint mobilization projects, and nearly a thousand personnel connections between them. We classified the groups by the general function that they serve within the network. They are research and practice, narrative manipulation, and legal advocacy and think tank groups. In chapter six of the Captain Report, we talk about the future of the anti-LGBTQ plus pseudoscience movement and how pseudoscience is used to police sex, sexuality, and gender. From book bans and invasions of privacy to removing access to healthcare that furthers existing inequalities, policies based on pseudoscience limit our freedoms and equality.